the Yukon Huskies already up big, 61-29 from the Excel Center. Joined now by Dr. Corey Edker, who is an orthopedic physician for UConn Athletics. And doctor, a lot of the injuries in women's basketball involve the knees. So one thing I want to ask you about is patella tendonitis. Why is it nicknamed jumper's knee and how do you treat it? Uh, great question. So it's obviously something that's very common in jumpers, i.e. basketball, volleyball players, really just because the patella tendon is the primary force by which our body accelerates out of a jumping position and absorbing shock from that. So overuse, uh, inflammation leads to this common process, otherwise known as jumper's knee. Another common injury in this game is tearing your ACL. Is there a way to minimize or reduce the risk of that? Yeah, so another great question. So it's something we struggle with a lot, and there's actually been a lot of good research of which we're part of uh, that's looking at mechanisms, really hip strength, coordination, uh, neuromotor control, which is sort of the fancy term to look at. Overuse too, which is also part of your question with jumper's knee. So people that overtrain often get uh, fatigued, uh, they lose that neuromotor control, and then we have the catastrophe of the ACL injury. What are some other things that you've been researching lately, and what have you learned from your research? Uh, Good question. So one of the things we're trying to do is use biologics, so whether they're stem cells, PRP, various ways to treat patients that have these chronic processes, overuse injuries. A lot of times our patients don't want to rest, so it puts a pressure on us to try to find ways to help them. So these are ways we could treat tendinopathies, of which patella tendinitis is one of them. Great information, doctor. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Thanks for your time. Oh, you